so I've already got my uh, my solder out. I got my soldering iron plugged in. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, welcome to the uh, simple soldering, simple wire soldering, and um, continuity testing here. And that's exactly what I'm going to do first. Um, if you like or don't like or whatever, do me a favor, subscribe, leave feedbacks, comments, whatever. So first thing I'm going to do here is uh, use continuity on the tester, on the multimeter. And I'm going to run uh, my wire back over here to my motor. And I'm using the white wire and the white wire. Uh, so that's continuity there. That is my Y axis. So that guy is going to go over here. So just we'll just hook that right there for now. Uh, pull out my heat, my appropriate uh, size heat shrinks. So this guy will be uh, just a little bit too small for that one. This should be about right here. Go ahead and open these guys up. Um, cut your heat shrink about twice the length, at least twice the length of your actual uh, covering joint um, just for uh, grins and giggles it doesn't hurt it shouldn't hurt to uh, actually do a test shrink and that'll be plenty small enough to get around uh, both my wires I can't actually fit it around that one so that's good uh, so this will be for the small wires and then I'll go ahead and I will find a larger one to go around all the wires. I think this one will be good here. I'll just double check this here. And I know I don't have a whole lot of recording time so I'm going to try to hurry through this as much as possible. Like I said, my, my soldering iron is uh, heating up. This is one of my older guys that's seen some definite use and abuse around the shop and around the house that should be plenty good for actually the whole kit and caboodle. So I'm going to cut this one, I'm going to cut these guys uh, longer. It's actually going to be, we'll say right about there. And we're going to just cut that. We'll need two of these guys. Get these all cut first off. Got those guys cut. And we're going to need eight of these, and I'm going to make them about almost an inch long, maybe three quarters of an inch, and we'll need eight of these guys. Now this is, uh, this is, this will shrink in half of its starting size, and I'm, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and get all these cut out for both sets of wires. And in re reality, just to keep you from burning up your soldering iron, you really should um, actually get all your wires prepped, get all your uh, heat shrinks uh, cut, and then go ahead and uh, do your continuity testing and make sure you're getting the right wires for the right spots, exactly eight of these guys. All right, good deal. Now I'm going to go ahead and slip on my long, uh, large guy all the way down, and I'll slip on my four smaller ones, always slipping on all my heat shrinks before I even start soldering anything, and making sure that they're still on before I solder each individual wire, because if you don't, you will absolutely find that it has slipped off while soldering one of the other wires. Oh, see how the blue guy wants to slip off? I already did the green guy, I almost did him twice. So just kind of double check everything before each wire. Uh, red wire is done, black wire is done. And I'll only uh, do video on one motor, it's not to, not to intrinsically bore you too much. Get all this slipped down. Alright, and I am 
of the thought that since I'm soldering it, I do not need the super great uh, splice joints. So I basically wrap them around each other, making a small U, like so. And like I said, I am uh, definitely soldering all my joints. Hey, sweetheart. It's my beautiful wife back there. She won't come into the camera picture. She hates cameras. Like I said, doing little U's on all of them, just kind of almost like little fish hooks around each other. And I also know from, obviously, that like I said, this has been all been recut and uh, redone just to give a good show how to, that uh, all my colors are proper except for the blue. All my heat shrinks are still on my wires. Good, 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 good. So, uh, when, any, when any type of soldering, you want a little bit of solder on your soldering iron to help transfer the heat. And then you'll want to put that dab of soldering that's on your soldering iron, dab of solder that's on your soldering iron, on the joint to be soldered. And sorry if I'm a little shaky here and let the heat transfer in through that solder and solder the, put the solder, non-melted solder on the parts you're trying to solder. You'll see everything go a nice shiny, shiny silver and let it sit for a second and just move on. The more solder you have on your soldering iron, uh, the faster it'll transfer the heat because there's a buildup of it on there. The, the, the liquid solder actually holds that heat. And I probably don't need quite so much solder, but this isn't the greatest uh, soldering iron, and I seem to be shaking like a, I don't know, crackhead detoxin maybe? I don't know. Anyway. making sure that the solder is wicking nicely into the uh, both pieces of, oh, that's hot. Both pieces of metal, the copper and the wire itself. The and by copper I mean the uh, rigid copper wire that I'm using from uh, Radio Shack. Four wire hookup wire. should be good and that should be it um, it does help to use a some type of helping hand or uh, something to that effect that I actually hold the wires now I'm gonna make sure that I got a definitely good good connection between all four of these yep everything feels nice and solid and now it's just a matter of slipping over your individual heat shrinks and taking your lighter to it, getting it nice and shrunk up. And I probably could have moved that one down a little bit, but that's why we leave.